हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड वेलकम इन टूडे सेशन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अवर चैप्टर नंबर टू इज द मैटर अराउंड अस प्योर यस फर्स्ट चैप्टर व्हाट वी हैव सीन मैटर्स अराउंड अस राइट एंड नाउ टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट इज द मैटर अराउंड अस प्योर यस सी इन दिस चैप्टर टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट पार्ट फर्स्ट Chapter two is the matter around us pure. In that part one. Now see in this classification of matter. Already we have discussed this point in chapter one. So once again we will revise these points first on the basis of physical states of matter. Right? The physical. What is the physical state of matter? The matters are classified into solid, liquid, and gases. Their properties, molecular structure, everything we have studied already in the chapter one, right? Then, general idea about this also we have seen in chapter one on the basis of chemical composition. So, how they are made up of, right? so based on the chemical composition matters are classified into two main types that is pure substance and mixture right so these are the two types of the matters based on their chemical composition now if you will see the pure substance further they are classified into elements and compound this is based on their constituents what they are made up of elements means only one type of atoms we will found in that and in compound two or more than two types of atoms we will found in them right and then the second type is mixture this mixture is of two types one is homogeneous mixture and another is a heterogeneous mixture now details of all about this we will see ahead see the next slide pure substance and mixture the pure substance this is the definition of the pure substance pure substance is a substance which consists of what a single type of a substance underline this a single type of a substance so that may be of element or compound it will be comes both element will also be a pure substance and as well as any compound is there which is having a fixed proportion of two components it will be considered also as an a pure substance see the examples of the pure substance iron copper hydrogen oxygen these are all elements right because only one type of atom is there and ahead if you will see water water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen two atoms are there so this will come as an a compound water has a fixed proportion of hydrogen and oxygen h2o means two hydrogen and one oxygen two as to one proportion is there of hydrogen and oxygen in water so anywhere you will go then this composition will be fixed that's why it is a compound and it is a pure substance same like that sugar common salt etc now the next point mixture right now what is the difference between the pure substance and mixture mixture is a substance which consists of two or more pure substance right two or more pure substance will be there so you can mix out of that any two or more substances together you will get a mixture now see the examples of the mixture sea water right if you will see the sea water in that water is one pure substance right and in that sea water salt is there that is a common salt right nacl so water and nacl so sea water is a mixture of water and nacl along with this other minerals also will be there microorganisms will be there right so these are all other substances together will form a mixture right then minerals now you will see that what is the mixture in the mineral mineral will be there one of the element in that any element along with that element some over is there mixed of over soil particles dirt it is mixed in that so this mineral which we 
take out from the earth crust that will be a mixture then soil right in the soil if you will see so many soil particles are there other minerals are there water is there air is there some of the microorganisms are there so they all together will form a mixture air different different gases are there in the air nitrogen oxygen carbon dioxide argon dust particles water vapors all these are constituting air so this is also a good example of a mixture like that sand and salt together whenever we are taking sand is a pure substance salt is a pure substance two substances pure substances comes together to form a mixture so this is one more example of mixture sugar in water so here two pure substances one is water and another one is a sugar two pure substances comes together to form a mixture salt in water right so these are some of the examples of the mixture see the differences between the pure substances and mixtures how they are differ from each other right based on these two marks or three marks question will be asked right now in a two marks question they will be asked a definition right means define the mixture or give the definition of the pure substance or they will give you the list of the examples and you have to classify them either it is a pure substance or it is a mixture like that and sometimes they will ask differences also so if the differences will be asked for two marks then you can write any two differences or if it will be asked for three marks then you can write any three differences among them right so see here some of the differences between the mixture and the pure substance so first difference is there that the pure substance consists of a single type of a substance means only one type of substance will be there in pure substance but if you will see in the mixture so in the mixture there are two or more pure substances will be there so this is the first very important difference is there it is of only one type of substance and it is two or more types of pure substance will be there second difference is there in pure substance cannot be separated into other substances by physical method right so any physical method you can take right the sedimentation is there filtration is there right so by that you cannot separate the pure substances into its other substances or the component but it is possible in the mixture so you can write in mixture that mixture can be separated into its component by physical method right so you can take an example here from anywhere you can take an example suppose this example you take sugar in a water or salt in a water so how can you separate this mixture you just evaporate water and you will get water separated in the water vapors and salt will be there in a petri dish right so in this way you can just separate the components by the physical method the third important difference is that pure substances has its own definite properties right every pure substance has its own properties but if you will see the mixture they show the properties of its component so whatever the components are there their properties only will be shown by the mixture it will not be shown its own any other different properties right so these are some of the differences between the pure substance and the mixture other than this also you can write a few more differences and even the examples also you can add in this right so other differences you will add in this and make a four five points of differences now see the next one this is the platinum so you can see this is a picture of a platinum and this is a example of a pure substance because in this picture you can see only and only pure platinum is there no any other thing is mixed in this right so it is a single substance here so that's why it is a pure substance now see types of mixtures earlier in the chart we have seen that mixtures are classified into two one is a homogeneous mixture and another one is a heterogeneous mixture now what is mean by homogeneous mixture and what is mean by a heterogeneous mixture 
so that we will see here even in first chapter also i have given a little bit idea about the homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture so see here homogeneous mixture homo homo means same right so this mixture will be same everywhere whatever the content of the mixture is there from anywhere if you will pick up a sample it will be the same composition everywhere right it will not be a changed take an example if you dissolve salt in a water right so salty water is there or salt plus water mixture is there good example of a mixture but suppose you have prepared a glass of a salt water right so in that if you will take a surface sample will that have a different composition or concentration of salt if you will take a middle sample then will that show the different concentration of the salt and water or if you will take in base sample then all these samples from anywhere from that glass of water if you will take a sample of salt dissolved in the water you will get the same kind of proportion right same amount will be there salt with water so this kind of example it is called as a homogeneous mixture and take a opposite of this heterogeneous mixture whenever the mixture is there and in that whenever you are collecting the samples so when these samples have the different different proportions at a different different locations then you can definitely consider this as an a heterogeneous mixture take an example suppose suppose you have a salt right but that salt is not a pure salt maybe some dirt is there in that mix right so such a salt if you dissolve in the water then that salt whenever you will dissolve in the water will not give you the transparent solution right salt will dissolve in the water and whatever the dirt is there it will be just get settled down at the bottom of the glass so superficial layer of the glass is there that you will see the transparent one right but at the base whenever you will see that time there is a more concentration of the dirt particle you will see so in this case if you will consider salt water or mixture of salt water then it is a heterogeneous we have seen the same mixtures two examples when it is homogeneous whenever salt is completely dissolved in the water and nothing is left at the base of a glass and the water is clear transparent then it is a homogeneous mixture and whenever there is a dirt which is settled at the bottom of a glass then you will see that will be a heterogeneous mixture maybe the idea of homogeneous and heterogeneous is clear to you now see here homogeneous mixture is a mixture which has uniform composition note this point uniform composition means everywhere same composition is there then it is called as a homogeneous mixture see the some of the properties of this homogeneous mixture particles of mixtures are not visible by naked eye just imagine the example of salt plus water or a best example sugar plus water dissolve sugar completely into the water so if you dissolve that sugar in the water are you able to see the sugar in water no so this is what uh, these particles are there they are not visible by our naked eyes second point particles cannot be separated by filtration yes once the sugar is dissolved in the water and if you will filter that water then on the filter paper you are not getting anything right along with the water sugar molecules will also pass through a filter paper so you cannot separate the sugar and water by filtration the third point is the mixture is a stable right stable means what if you will keep this glass undisturbed for half an hour then also solution will be remain as it is there is nothing to just get settled down at the bottom so that's why it is called as a stable see all these uh, terms are there try to understand these terms because ahead whenever 
we are learning the types of solution that time these words are coming right so you should know the perfect meaning of the word what is mean by the mixture is stable means there are no any particles which will be settled down particles do not settle down in this type of mixture then the next point the path of a beam of light is not visible in the picture mixture right now whenever the solution we are taking right if the solution is clear and in that if you just on the flash of light take a torch or a battery and on it and suppose this is a glass transparent glass then light will just pass through it but you are not able to see in the glass the path of light traveling light right why because the solution is clear and no any particles are there in that solution which will reflect the light right i will show you the pictures ahead but try to understand if the light is reflected by the particles in the glass then we can see the path of the light yes light is traveling in this way but no particles are there right everything is completely dissolved so light will be just pass through the solution and you are not able to see the path of light right so this is what we see in the homogeneous mixture path of beam of light is not visible in the mixture i will show you the picture that time this point will be clear to you right examples are given here of homogeneous mixture mixture of sugar in water mixture of salt in water this salt should be pure and completely dissolved then only it will be a homogeneous mixture and mixture of copper sulfate in a water right now the second type of mixture is there that is a heterogeneous mixture right now in this heterogeneous mixture i said exactly opposite to the homogeneous mixture mixture which has non uniform composition here it is a uniform composition right but in heterogeneous mixture it is a non uniform composition opposite to each other now compare these following points also so you will understand here the first point is particles are visible by naked eyes here it is not visible by naked eyes but in heterogeneous particles are visible by naked eyes right particles can be separated by filtration right and these all particles are there that can be separated a mixture is unstable here it is stable here it is unstable and path of beam of light is visible in the mixture here it is not visible but here it is a visible examples are given here a mixture of salt and sand right mixture of uh, sulfur and iron filling and mixture of oil and water so here to understand the heterogeneous mixture take an any example suppose if you have here the example of mixture of salt and sand right so whenever these particles you will be mixed you are able to see this particle second can be separated by filtration means you add water in this mixture sand water and salt so immediately salt will be dissolved in the water you filter that with the filter paper sand will be separated on the filter paper so you can separate the sand by the filtration right and uh, in the filtrate you will get salt plus water you evaporate the water in the dish you will get a salt so in this way you have separated these uh, components of the mixture then mixture is uh, unstable unstable means why if you keep the glass which contains salt plus sand plus water and you will mix it salt will get dissolved in the water but sand particles they will be slowly 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 get settled down right so this is why this will be called as a mixture is a unstable and path of a beam of light is a visible i will explain this once again with a picture right so these are some of the points of homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture along with this point if the question will be asked right give the differences between homogeneous mixture and the heterogeneous mixture then also you can write these four points are there along with their example as in fifth point <laughs> along with their examples as in fifth point then 
minimum five points you are able to write as there are no differences between the homogeneous mixture and the heterogeneous mixture right so this point you prepare very well another type of question may ask for that they will give you the list of examples and you have to identify either it is a example of homogeneous mixture or a heterogeneous mixture right so prepare this very well see the next point here i have kept the uh, picture which shows you the homogeneous mixture see the glass of water in which sugar is dissolved in the water if the sugar and water is there and this is a very clear solution nothing is there at the base so you can say this is a homogeneous mixture right next see here heterogeneous mixture so this is the example of heterogeneous mixture because here salt is dissolved in the water and at the base you can see the dirt is get saturated or you can take an example salt plus water or some of the sand particles in it so sand particles get settled here at the base and upper side transparent solution is there so this way you can uh, take this as an example of a heterogeneous mixture just now we have seen about the matters right types of matters and mixtures you with the presentation right now the same points i will show you in the textbook connect that all points with your textbook and go through it and try to understand see your textbook here in your textbook chapter number 2 is the matter around us in that see in the beginning some of the examples are given whatever the atoms are present in our house so these are some of the uh, examples are given in which adulteration uh, concept is explained and to whom we are saying pure and for us what is a pure and according to the scientists what is a pure right according to us if the adulteration is not there then for us it is a pure for example milk if we take this cartoon milk then it is pure for us but for scientist if you see uh, milk is not pure because in milk water is there protein is there fat is there so for scientist it is a uh, mixture right so like that some of the uh, introduction is given then definition of pure substance is given highlighted note down that examples are given of the mixtures then what is a mixture definition of the mixture is given here then examples of the mixtures are given pure substance and its composition it is given throughout the uh, matter it will remain same salt drink and soil are the example of the mixture it is given now the next point types of mixture this we have seen right so in that activity is given so go through this activity with this activity you will get the clear cut idea about uh, homogeneous mixture means what and heterogeneous mixture means what right whenever you will read then how the homogeneous mixture is formed by a uh, group uh, a and b and how the heterogeneous mixture got by group c and d so go through this activity the next activity is given of uh, crystals of copper sulfate solution dissolved in uh, water and here c and d group is there they have dissolved the chalk powder and wheat flour this uh, we have seen the examples right by group c and uh, milk or ink with the water it is given for the group d so with this activity it will be clear that how the uh, substances can be filtered or how these uh, elements will be get separated by the filtration some are there will not be uh, separated by the filtration so here you will get the homogeneous mixture heterogeneous mixture stable uh, solution means what unstable solution means what these all concepts will be clear to you here below that two in text questions are there that you have to solve after uh, these many points reading and understanding right and uh, in the next video we will see about the solution so today we have seen about what is a matter then how the matters are classified into its different different parts then what is a mixture then in that mixture pure substance 
then elements compounds then mixtures are of two types that is homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture with their all examples and their properties so based on this also one mark two marks questions are asked at time to time i said that also right so prepare this all just go through the textbook if anything is missed then see that try to understand all the points highlighted pdf i am sending that make your notes on that and complete your notes right whatever your doubts are there that doubts you comment in the comment box on youtube and we will discuss all that doubts in our zoom meeting so next time whenever zoom meeting is there come with your all doubts it's compulsory you have to come with your doubts right so prepare well and all the best